Fort Meade's observation of International Red Ribbon Week started with a kickoff event at McGill Training Center on Tuesday. More on that in just a moment. Also on this edition, an update on Military Appreciation Day. It's week two of the Healthy Chat Initiative. We'll have a brief preview. Plus a look at local Halloween goings on. These stories and more on Mead Week. Hello, I'm Brian Spann. Red Ribbon Week honoring the memory of slain DEA agent Enrique Camarena in 1985 has become the most celebrated alcohol, tobacco, and drug awareness campaign in the country. This year's special guest speaker was 17-year Drug Enforcement Administration veteran Don Hibbert. He touched on numerous topics, including some challenges the DEA faces in the local area and Maryland. Another drug uh, that's becoming an increasingly difficult problem has been the abuse of prescription drugs. Um, a huge problem. I mean, prescription drug abuse, uh, it's almost surpassing the problems we're having with heroin and the other illicit drugs that um, are out there. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem in the military. It's a problem in society. I, I, I heard in the news yesterday that one county out in uh, Michigan, Macomb, Michigan, it struck my attention because I have family. My wife is from Michigan, and I have family out there, uh, Macomb County, Michigan. 400 overdoses uh, last year, 400 in one county. In a related story, Fort Meade is hosting a prescription drug tournament on Saturday, October 26th from 7 to 1 in front of the Post Exchange. As a reminder, don't forget to remove all identifying information from any medicine containers or bottles. In other news, flu shot season is here. Soldiers going through readiness training are getting their shots through the 30th. Meanwhile, all other military branches, including those at NSA and the WTU, will get theirs the first week of November. All others in the general population starting November 12th through the 15th. Vaccinations are being given at McGill Training Center. Additional dates may follow at the commissary. Meanwhile, last month's canceled Retiree Appreciation Day has been rescheduled for Friday, November 1st from 8.30 to 3 at the McGill Training Center. Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley and Major General Roderick Eisler, Chairman of the Fort Meade Retiree Council, invite all retirees to this year's event. The keynote speaker is Mark Overberg, the Deputy Chief of Army Retirement Services at Human Resources Command. The event is for all military retirees, regardless of the branch of service. For more information, contact the Fort Meade Retirement Services Office at 301-677-9603. In a related story, the Veterans Benefits Administration at the Department of Veterans Affairs is digitizing the claims process. Here's more from the VA. VBA is in the midst of a multi-year transformation plan to better shape how we handle and process veterans' claims. The Veterans Claims Intake Program, or VSIP, is one of several initiatives using the latest technology to help VBA conduct digital operations and dramatically reduce the use of paper and the claims processing system, while also contributing to the overall goals of increasing the speed and accuracy of the claims process. When a veteran first submits a claim, it arrives at one of VA's regional offices, or ROs, and an electronic claims folder is created in the Veterans Benefits Management System, or VBMS, VA's electronic claims processing system. The paper claim is then shipped to one of three VA document conversion centers, where, along with supporting documents, it is scanned, indexed, and uploaded into the electronic claims folder already in VBMS. Then, the claims processors in the regional office begin their work on the veteran's claim using VBMS without paper. This process is much quicker, as claims processors can now avoid searching hundreds of pages of paper documents manually. Instead, searching electronic documents by keywords, finding the exact information in a fraction of the time, contributing to faster, more accurate decisions. This is one of the transformation initiatives that is overhauling the way we do business at VBA and a major step toward reaching our goal of completing claims within 125 days with 98% accuracy in 2015. At VBA, we are all in. Finally, on this edition last week, Mead TV brought you week one of the Healthy Chat Initiative. It's a running story of one man's battle of the bulge and help he's receiving from the Army Wellness Center. Here's the briefest of previews. I think my cardiovascular fitness is okay. Um, I know I'm fairly weak um, um, in my arms, hate weightlifting, hate push-ups and sit-ups, things of that nature. So we'll be interested to see what they're going to put me through here today. For everyone at MeTV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade week.